I'm going to be hunting the statehood quarters looking for any errors. I got about 700 of them here. I got the scope ready to go. I got drinks. I got snacks. I'm hydrated. First thing I'm going to do is separate all these out by state and by mint mark so I can make some sense of it. And then hopefully, hopefully we're going to find some error coins. All right, I got them all organized by state. I decided not to do mint marks either because I don't think it's going to make much of a difference or save me much time. It's probably going to cost me a lot more time because this alone here took forever, of course. Uh, never mind these big stacks way in the back here. That's all National Parks, America the Beautiful Quarters. And I'll be looking through those in a different video. But check out how... There were not a lot of the territories, but there's a lot. Well, there's one, one DC quarter, but then everything else, there's just tons. Uh, I think Virginia was the most. And I start kind of starting to screw myself up too. It's funny because I went to go put this Washington where it goes or where I was putting Washington quarters in this big open space down here I thought it was missing something and I thought I found some big error coin that I didn't know existed because so I went to put it on the Washington stack I thought oh it's missing the boat and that loon and, and then I realized that oh I was putting, I put a uh, Minnesota quarter on top of my Washington stack. And I was supposed to be putting them way up there. But anyways, um, I'm going to start sliding these under the scope. And if, as soon as I find something, if I do, then I'll bring you in. Well, I've been at it for a long time and there's a long ways to go. But I am 99.9% .9 sure that we just discovered a variety in this stack of state quarters. This is the 2006 Nevada quarter. And I'm pretty darn positive that this coin has the pooping horse variety on it. That's actually what it's called. Towards the end of the video, we'll get this under the scope along with anything else that we pull out and we can look at it together and and you can tell me what you think. But for right now, let's keep going through these coins. We've got a long ways to go. All right, it looks like we got something else awesome to show you at the end of this video under the scope. I believe there is a nice die crack on this 05 Kansas we'll see well we got something else here on a P Arizona it's got something to do with the cactus we'll take a better look at the end but if you think you already know what it is that I've found put it down in the comments okay we painstakingly have gone through every single one of those coins and found what I believe to be four different neat things to look at here. I have not confirmed anything 100%. So uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Because I really do care. I want to know if you think um, if, if, I'm, if I'm right on here or if I'm wrong. So first is on this Kansas. These are not in the order that I found them, by the way. So on the reverse, this appears like this could be a possible die crack right there. It could just be a scratch, but being as it's coming off the corner of this raised grass here, it leads me to think 
that that could be could be a die crack. Here's one that does not have that on it. You can see the you can see the uh, the difference. Okay, now here's in Arizona. So this is the normal one. But what I'm going to show you is there's a die crack or a cut of some sort on this dirt pile or rock. Um, they call this the extra leaves or ec extra cactus air. But right here at the bottom of this tall cactus on the reverse, you can see how there's, it's a die crack or a cut of some sort coming through right there. Okay, we'll slide the, uh, let's put this one back under here so you can compare again. That's the normal one. And then there's this one. Okay, and now the next one is the pooping horse error on the Nevada quarter, which is actually what they call it, or they, I guess, you know, in the coin community. So on the reverse, this top horse that's the furthest to the right side of the coin. In between, you can see in between his two rear legs, there's nothing there. But if you look on this one, there is some extra material there, a cut or something. In some way, somehow there's extra material in between those legs and some people think it makes it looks like it looks like the horse is taking a dump and then the last one now I could not this is on the 2002 Louisiana quarter now I can't find any information about anything similar to what I have here. So make sure you, if you have an opinion, uh, let everybody know what it is. See, this is one, this is a normal one. And actually, mainly what we're gonna look at is gonna be on the obverse, on the front. So, inside, I need something better to point with inside the ponytail there and on the top of this a in dollar there's appears to be some extra material a cut of some type or well let's take a look at it and there's a really neat uh interesting tone that you don't always see and i i you know i don't know what's going on with that Here's the reverse. Let's get to the front of the coin. Let's see here, I'll get you. See right there. Now let's let's put this this other one back under here. Okay. Look at that for a second. Now let's put this one back under here. Now I don't here you you can see it on top of that a and then <laughs> I don't know why I said ponytail but in the hair or this <laughs> hair tie or if there's an official name for that let me know um, if you know. But it appears to me that that's definitely some extra material. Um, if there was a lot of uh, damage in this area, post mint damage, like if this was in the street and got ran over by a cement truck uh, 100.467 times, then I would say that, yeah, that's probably just damage. 
But since there doesn't appear to be any, the coin doesn't really seem, appear to be damaged. Any big scrapes or nicks or anything around there. I think that that, that really could be something. But that's the four things that we found. And um, yeah, let me know what you think.